I'm CJ with Starter Builds, and today I'm going to show you how to build this really cool DIY round dining room table. So back to what I was saying. What's up, everyone? CJ here from Starter Builds. Hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to show you how to build a round DIY dining room table, and all we're going to use is nine two by sixes and one two by four. So stay tuned for the build, guys. So I've officially cut all my boards down. You should have 29 total boards cut. That's going to be 25 of the 2x6s and 4 of the 2x4s. Next, I'm going to go ahead and rip off these round over edges. I want to give it a straighter edge. And to do that, I'm going to do that on a table saw. So there's all your pieces for the round modern dining room table. Again, I went ahead and cut off the round over edges on the two by sixes down to five inches wide. And then on the two by fours, I did that to three inches wide. So now that I have all my pieces cut, what I'm going to go ahead and do here is mock up how I want my table to be designed. Really the goal here is to get it as flat and as square as possible. Again, we're going to be cutting a circle out of these boards with the router, but I really want to make sure that it's flat and square, so that's what I'm doing here. The next step is to go ahead and actually apply some glue to the edge of each board, and then I'm going to go ahead and tighten those clamps up and clean up all of the squeeze out, which you'll see me do here in a second. And now we move on to the legs. I'm going to start by drilling some pocket holes into each leg. And then from there, I'm actually going to go ahead and glue them up. And then I'll apply some brad nails to hold them together. So stay tuned for the process on that. Now to cut this circle, I'm going to actually go ahead and use this Diablo half inch straight bit. I've never used it before, but it came recommended from the employee at the store. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. Here I'm creating a jig to cut out that perfect circle. There's tons of videos online that you can look up to do this. I'll have some links down below on the videos I use to go ahead and create this jig. So sit back and watch me cut this circle with this jig and this half inch straight bit. Finally, we're going to go ahead and assemble the base of our table. To do this, we're going to go ahead and use these cross pieces that I cut at a 45 degree angle and attach those to our four legs. We're going to do this with two and a half inch brad nails and two and a half inch pocket hole screws and some wood glue. And then you'll see in my next clip how we're going to attach the top of the table to the base of the table that I'm putting together here.
Now I'm putting in the cross support pieces to give it a little bit more strength. And to do this, we're just doing this with pocket holes and two and a half inch pocket hole screws, making sure everything is flush, everything is square as we're attaching these together. Finally, we're going to add some stain to the table, and what I'm using here is a Varathane stain in carbon gray. And once we have applied all of the stain to each part of the table, we're going to finish it off with two coats of polyurethane, and then go ahead and use some 400 grit sandpaper to get it nice and smooth. Lastly, I'm going to use this Minwax Clear Gloss Polyurethane, and to apply it, I'm just using a foam brush, and here you can see the final product. I'm super pumped with how this turned out, especially for the price. I'll have links down in the description below to the plans that I followed, as well as some materials and cut lists that I use for this specific DIY round dining room table. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much for watching the video guys. Be sure to smash that thumbs up button as well as hit subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel. Feel free to leave some comments down below on other projects you'd like me to build on this channel. Thanks guys.